Hi, this is Chris. Today I will talk about how you can use one of these, an iBeacon, in your mobile apps. I will create an iPhone app that looks for an iBeacon and when it finds it, it will show information about it. And even if these things are really simple, you will see a lot more of this the coming years. The idea of an iBeacon is quite simple. It's a small device that sends out a signal that a mobile phone or other Bluetooth device can pick up and act on. The technology used to send the signal is a version of Bluetooth using low energy so that its battery can last longer. Depending on the signal strength, the phone can determine the distance to the iBeacon. And on iOS, the distinction is made between immediate, within a few centimeters, near, within a couple of meters, and far, greater than 10 meters. The information in the signal is mainly an identity, which is composed of a UUID and a major and minor numeric value. When an app in the phone receives the signal, the normal scenario is that it will use the identity to request information from a service, often in the cloud, and show the result of the response. In this example, the iBeacon is placed close to a specific shoe and therefore the service will return information about the shoe, which is then shown in the app. Let's create an iPhone app that listens to iBeacons. And to do that, you first need an iPhone 4S or later. You also need to be a registered and paying iOS developer. And then you have to download and install the development tools, which is called Xcode. Finally, you need an iBeacon. And I'm using one from Estimote here, but there are many others to choose from. Now it's time to open Xcode and create a new project as a single view iOS application and start by adding the framework core location. Then you update the appdelegate.h file to look like shown here. And first we import core location on line one as well as add the location manager delegate on line two and then we add the two properties for the beacon region and the location managers on line three and four. Now we also need to update the implementation part of appdelegate.m file to look like shown here. And first we set up the location manager on lines three and four. Then the beacon region is set up on lines five to seven. And please replace the zeros with the UUID of your iBeacon and the location manager is instructed to start looking for the region on line 8. In the did determine state method, we start by checking if we just entered or left the region on line 13 and 27. And if we enter the region, we start looking for iBeacons on line 15 and check whether the app is in the background on line 18. If it is, a local notification is shown welcoming the user to the store on lines 20 to 22, and if the app is in the foreground or active, an alert is shown with the same message instead on line 25. If we left the region, we just stop looking for iBeacons on line 28. When one or more iBeacons are found in did range beacons, we show information about each one of them on lines 32 to 34. The idea here is that we have a chain of stores where the iBeacon in each store have the same UUID. Inside the store, the different iBeacons have different major and minor values. For example, the major could be the department and the minor the individual location or product. As we are just looking for the UUID when showing the welcome message, it can be triggered by any of the iBeacons in the store. Please note that this also works if the app is not in the background, that is, if, even if it's not started, and even if the phone is sleeping, as iOS will keep track of which apps are looking for which iBeacons and wake them up when any of the right iBeacons are closed. Then, when we get the information for each iBeacon, we can send a request to the server to ask for more information and then show it to the user. So even if the concept of iBeacons is simple, it's very powerful. And that's why we'll see these things everywhere in the coming years. So that's how you can use your iBeacons in your apps. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.